Hello, I'm Professor Alto. Welcome to our online educational series where I help students and game developers in their efforts to discover the need to create serious games that address health and well-being issues, design those games, and develop and launch them. Most games that I help students and professionals develop for health and well-being fall into the category of serious games because the primary purpose of the game is not to have fun, but to achieve some purpose other than pure entertainment. This requires you to follow a radically different approach to discovery, design, and development for a serious game than you would for a traditional game. For that reason, we have developed this video series to introduce you to the principles and mechanics of serious game discovery, design, and development. This video series will provide you with the examples and exercises to enable you to learn how to apply them to your efforts to change and improve people's lives, health, and well-being. A great example of a serious game for health is called NeuroRacer. NeuroRacer is a game that was developed by a team of researchers from the University of California, San Francisco. It is specifically targeted toward older adults to help them improve their brain plasticity. The game is currently seeking FDA approval to be marketed as a therapeutic agent. While admittedly there has been a lot of hype for various brain training games, there is a great hope that the games can continue to be refined and developed for improved treatment. To help students and game developers apply and improve their serious game development skills, I run an annual Games for Health competition where hundreds of students and professionals from around the world compete for thousands of dollars of prize money to create games in six different categories. Here are some examples of winning student-designed serious games in various categories. On Track is a fitness game created by graduate students at Carnegie Mellon University to get you engaged in becoming more active and fit. Renaissance Astronaut was designed by graduate students at the University of Utah for corporations to provide to their employees. Its purpose is to help improve employee engagement, wellness, productivity, and happiness. A student team from the Universidade da Madeira created Guide as a game to help adolescent youth tackle anxiety and fear. Carb Commander was developed by a team at the University of Utah to help people better manage various aspects of their lives that lead to chronic disease such as diet, exercise, and medication adherence. Medigarden was developed in collaboration with the University of Utah Medical School and students in the Entertainment Arts and Engineering program to provide electronic medical record integration for medication adherence and other services that physicians prescribe to patients. Thanks for watching. Please look at the video description for links to exercises and other resources.